Hey ladies and gents, it's Sisterwiz here with a review of the Mythic Legions Varg figure. Another member of Ilithia's brood. And um, this was a very eagerly anticipated figure for me. And now that I have him, I'm super excited. And I'm also wishing that I had more of him because I have all ideas for, you know, mixing and matching him with other characters. So, uh, Varg came in this package, delightfully painted by the talented Nate Barch. And then if you look here, you can read his bio. All right, Varg. Wildly ferocious and implicitly deadly, the Varg are bred by the vampires of Alithia's brood to serve as their personal bloodhounds. Bound by chains to their controllers, they are often brought on expeditions to sniff out and hunt prey for their masters. Massive wings and razor-sharp claws equip the Varg with an arsenal of weapons so deadly that they are some of the most feared creatures in the vampire realm. Which is saying a lot because the vampire realm is full of a panoply of fierce and deadly creatures. So, um... I really like these little, like, flying uh, monkeys and minions and bats and demons and stuff like that. Um, we've had, uh, now the name escapes me, but there was a blue, uh, a small blue demon that um, was in the line that shared similar proportions. Um, and he is one of my favorites. Uh, but this guy, there's something about all this goodness packed into this tiny little frame this stocky chunky little frame that um i don't know just appeals to me um i like the idea of these being bloodhounds it's interesting because bats generally have very very good hearing um i don't know how good their uh sniffers are but uh this is a bloodhound so it can smell out blood i guess like a shark in the water and come after you and the fact that they're so ferocious that their handlers have to chain them up. Um, it's it, it, it's just kind of interesting. Um, comes with two chains, actually. Uh, and just for fun, I changed, chained them up here. This, I guess, uh, the Varg is not... I, I, I thought he was a character in his own right, but I guess he's sort of a, a race of, of minions. There's a, a, a chain that lock, you can lock on his wrist doesn't lock, but it slips over his wrist. You can take off his hand and put it on there or his foot or whatever. And then it has this handle so you can, you know, control your Varg and keep him from getting out of hand, which I'm guessing is uh, chomping on your his prey's neck and draining his warm blood out of his neck or whatever. He's short. Maybe he bites ankles. <laughs> so, um, he comes with various weapons and a couple of different hands as well. So you have this, sort of a pike, sort of a scythe, sort of a something. And um, that's a cool weapon. Looks like it's capable of inflicting all sorts of deadly harm. I don't know what you would really call it. That's almost kind of like an axe, too. And then a pick, and then a poke, pick, hack, and slice all at once. Um, Ron Popeil would like this multi-use, multi-purpose. Now here are some of the extra hands, which are gripping hands. They've got some cool, you know, painted nails there. Um, black painted nails, which are all the rage for uh, high school girls and guys now. And then he's got a mace with some nice detail, nice weathering. We've seen this mace before. But, you know, if he's in a bonking mood, right there, blunt force trauma, massive amounts. So, and then if he's in a stabby mood, here's his other hand, which also comes off. Obviously, there's a right and a left. And then there's a stagger for stabbing. So, bonking, stabbing, slicing. Um, grabbing, biting, 
sucking, chewing. He does all that kind of good stuff. And he's got these more expressive hands, which are open and I believe can also fit the weapons, but also, well, a little more loosely, but also just kind of, you know, give him that air of, of menace. So he's got also black toenails in addition to black fingernails. I've already mentioned his chain for his handler. And then there's this other chain. Here we go. Uh, I hooked it back here. So as you can see, um, this can be used to keep him um, chained at the wrist. I, I imagine when he's hanging upside down in the cave or whatever, um, for extra security, they just chain him there so he doesn't go out for a midnight snack. So um, these wings are uh, the vampire wings, which we've seen before. And they're awesome. And the thing I like about these is I have been waiting for Decebalus, which is the big, giant vampire brute. And I just saw in the Four Horsemen O'Clock that they just came in. Decebalus has been actually delayed and it, it's taken way longer than um, we would have wanted to get Decebalus. But um, what I want to do is I want to get another one of these guys, or maybe even this guy, and remove his wings and put him on that big vampire brute. Because the big vampire brute needs wings, and the color on this is going to match really well with the big vampire brute. And then I have an idea for this guy. See, this is a good thing about Mythic Legions, is you know, all of a sudden you start looking at ideas and... and thinking of display options. Um, these are white grayish wings with some airbrushing to make the details pop. I love all these holes, all this leathery sort of wrinkles and cracks um, in them. And so like you, you just pop them out, which is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop these wings out. And when I get to sell this, which I don't have yet, I'm going to pop these wings on Decebalus. That's, that's my plan. And check this out. I have some fodder. Where did I put that? Hmm. I had some fodder that I was planning on using to... Where did it go? Where did it go? I had a pair of, I had a pair of tiny wings. Guys, I apologize for the delay. Oh, here we go. All right. So I got a pair of tiny wings that I took off another figure. At this point, all other figures and all other lines are basically just, you know, fodder for Mythic Legions and then Cosmic Legions when Cosmic Legions come out. And then I love kind of these comically undersized wings. And I just think, I, think, I just think that looks cool. So they're vampire wings, but not only is he short or height impaired or whatever, but he has tiny wings too. So he probably can't fly. So I, I, I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, these are vampire wings from another figure somewhere. And so that I think what I'll do is I will swap his wings with Decebalus wings. And this will be my, this will be like Decebalus's mini me. It's kind of like, you know that movie Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito? I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna have him be Decebalus' sidekick. So I don't think necessarily we need Decebalus to be his handler, because um, I think that would be further indignity. But I just love them as a, I think a duo, where wherever big giant Decebalus goes, ogre scale Decebalus, he's got this little buddy and this little minion tagging along isn't that awesome and then um you know this these wings on on Decebalus I think are going to be really really cool the other thing that I was thinking about was maybe getting another one of these guys popping his head off let me see how that doesn't fit because that's a 
that's a 2.0 head. But maybe um, swapping this head onto a vampire, a vampire knight maybe, or something, doing something. Something like that. But anyway, um, isn't that cool? Like a little tiny muscle-bound bat chihuahua. So um, there's the loincloth. There's the short little legs. It's totally adorable and <laughs> just has a lot of character. Now, let me see if I can show you the details. Look at the details on that face sculpt. Just love it. Big fangs for such a little guy. I mean, massive fangs compared to some of the smaller, more delicate fangs. And then I love the the face and all those wrinkles around the eyes. Like he's he's really grouchy. He's been sleeping for a long time. He's really hungry, grouchy, and mad. And then the bat face. Yeah. So. And uh, I am partial to bats because of the Aztec bad god, Camazots. So I may um, also have to get some more of these to make me a Camazots. Camazots. Uh, until the Four Horsemen hit, hit, hopefully make an official Camazots at some point to go with... Um, Xylona's flock, right? That would be cool. Um, have evil bats and then maybe have a good bat, right? Mix it up a little. So, anyway, Varg. The Varg are, like I said, a, a vicious race of bat bloodhounds that should be on a leash at all times. And if you like bats, if you like vampires, if you like fantasy creatures, if you like flying monkeys, whatever you like, I think you'll like this guy. He even looks, I mean, it's it's funny how a few changes like taking the wings off, putting smaller wings on, or just taking the wings off completely, how they change the profile and the look of the character. And like like now he's almost like a, like a statesman, like a Tyrion Lannister type or something. Um, short and smart. Um so, I love this figure. It does not disappoint. Um, and um, I'm glad I got a chance to uh, show it to you. <coughs> wow, I sneezed for some reason. Sorry about that. Anyway, is DeWiz signing out.